Hey everybody, it's Dina Rico with the Creativity Cave, and guess who's happy to be stamping with you? That would be me, and I think the reason I'm so happy is look at this card. Oh my gosh, it's just so cute. I have to say, I'm really kind of proud of myself for this one. It's just so fun and happy, and I just love it. So let me show you how I made it, because it's really, 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 really easy. I'm going to start with a half a sheet of uh if, uh, um, flirty flamingo, of course, because what other color would your flamingo card be on? Hello. I can't believe I couldn't think of that for just a brief second. So let me... Whoa! And that would be the sound of my punch crashing to the floor. Don't worry. It's still good. Okay. <laughs> so we're going to make a tag for our cute little... Um, um, flamingo. Oh my gosh, I'm at a loss for words. And to make a tag, I'm going to just, I have a piece of, um, two inch wide cardstock. Wait, whisp this is whisper white cardstock. And there, my latch moved. That's why it didn't punch through all the way. So all is good. Don't you worry. All right. And then I'm going to trim this. I should have started with four and a quarter. Give me one second. Okay, I'm back. Here we go. So I've got my tag, and I'm going to take and stamp my gorgeous slash adorable slash super fun flamingo in some flirty flamingo, of course. And then I'm going to do something a little bit interesting. I'm going to get a wet wipe. Let me grab it. It's just out of reach. And I'm going to take that wet wipe and actually wipe off the legs, if only it were that easy, right? And I'm also going to wipe off the beak. Okay, so I've just taken a little ink off. Then I'm going to replace it with black using my black marker. So I'm just going to simply color in those legs. because black is slimming, right? <laughs> okay, and then I will stamp this down onto my tag. And look at how super fun and cute that is. Oh my gosh. So I'm gonna set that one aside. Then I'm gonna take a scrap of white and I'm going to stamp my little greeting that comes in the stamp set. And I just need my black ink pad which is right here. Now I'm going to stamp this and then cut it out. Now this one needs a little fussy cutting, which I know nobody likes to fussy cut, but it's pretty simple. So I think you can handle it. <laughs> uh, whenever I fussy cut something, I always leave a little border of white. And if you notice, most of our framelits do the same thing. And the reason is because it just kind of adds, or I shouldn't say it adds, it um, accounts for any cutting irregularities, shall we say, that you might have when you're cutting. So if you are not spot on, precise, perfect in your cutting, as just one or two of us are not, um, this, leaving this little border will kind of make up for any of those boo-boos, shall we say. And they're more noticeable if there is no border, so that's why I always put the border on there. And it's a little easier too, because you can always take a little more away, but it's pretty hard to put some back. And I'm laughing because I see I have stuck a little bit of washi tape on here. I was making a washi tape project earlier today, and I ripped off a teeny little piece, and don't you know it, don't you know, that was my good Minnesotan accent, just for you guys tonight, um, don't you, don't you know it stuck. It's like um, dimensionals, I find those things all over the place, uh, the backings, not so much the dimensionals. Um, I 
find them in like my bra and stuff, which is always interesting. So we'll just leave that at that. <laughs> okay, so I will take and adhere this with, speaking of dimensionals, with some dimensionals. And I've got some right here. I This is like the third video I've shot today, so everything is kind of a scattered, jumbled mess because I keep switching over. But I have to share something with you, and I hope you will appreciate this and not find it like obscene because it's not it's art at the end of the day it is absolutely art so I you know was recently on my European uh, adventure and um, we were in well we saw all kinds of statues of this nature wherever we went but I did have to bring back with me a statue of David <laughs> <laughs> um, I hope you find this hysterical because I love this. I think it's so cool. We saw, we saw replicas of this all over the place. In fact, I saw, I think I saw a replica of it when I was in London, um, a while ago, but I just think this is funny because I want to squeeze his buns. <coughs> I always do that with my kids, although they're starting to get too old for that. So anyway, this is like my new, um, my new stamp room, um, Oh, mascot, if you will. <laughs> so I think that's really funny. We did see the David. In fact, I posted a picture of that on my Facebook timeline. If you're Facebook friends with me, you, you probably saw it because it was, um, let's just say it was inappropriate. Well, kind of. I mean, we, we were being silly. But it was outside. It wasn't in the museum, so it was okay. All right. <laughs> so back to my card. Um, I have three colors and I just love this color combination. It's so fun. So I have pink pirouette, peekaboo peach, and of course, flirty flamingo. And I'm just going to take my little, uh, pump, uh, not, oh my gosh, I did this last time. Pumpkin. No, this is a pineapple. It's the other P. Okay. So I'm going to take and stamp that randomly on each color of cardstock strip. Now these are one and a half by four and I'll have all the details of this on my blog, but, um, I am just stamping these randomly. And now, you know, I'm a lazy stamper cause I've never professed to not be. And I have such an awesome thing. If you stamp these kind of in order of like dark to light, then you can get away with not cleaning your stamp that much. Just stamp it off a couple times and then just go on to the next color. I think that is kind of genius. So I hope you do too. And I'm just going to stamp a couple more of these. Now, one of the reasons I chose this is it's for, um, it's for the stamp ink paper case, the designer challenge. And so the theme is you just case one of the design team's cards. So I thought this card was so cute, of course, to begin with, but I also thought it'd be really easy to case. So, I mean, three strips of paper, three whatever's in the background with the tag on top. I mean, hello, that's super caseable, right? So I think this is so cute. This little pumpkin. Pumpkins and flamingos are so trendy. They are all over the place. If you have noticed that, I see things like in home decor, in stationery, all kinds of stuff. So I'm just going to take those three pieces and then mount it to my panel of cardstock. And they fit on there like a dream, which I just love. So I'll take... Uh, and put fast fuse on the back of each of them and oops and then just adhere them to my card and again I just love the colors now one little tip that I have for you is whenever you're doing threes on a card put the first and last one down and then you can squeeze the last or the center one in the middle and then just line it up so that it's all even, you know, so you don't have one that's further up and down than the other. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So then I'm just going to trim off these. You guys are still dying about the David, aren't you? I can see your collective heads nodding at home. I understand. It's okay. It is a work of art, people. 
I actually did have a recommendation from one of my friends who said I should put a leaf over his, you know what, and maybe I'll do that. I wouldn't want to offend any of your delicate sensitivities, of course. I never, ever, ever want to offend, but I do always want to make you giggle. That is always my goal, and I think I'm fairly good at it, so I do try. Okay, so I popped my tag up on my card, and then I'm going to add a bow. So I have this glorious new ruched ribbon. This is in, of course, Flirty Flamingo, because what other color would you put on a flamingo card but Flirty Flamingo? So now I have, I'll do this in slow motion as I tie the bow carefully for you. Wrap it around, straighten it out, and then push it in. How is that? And then you wiggle back and forth, adjust until you have the desired bow shape. Isn't that pretty? Okay, I'm done. I wish I had a little chariots of fire in the background or something while I was doing that because that would have been funny. Okay, now I will simply glue that glue dot this to my card and then I'm done. So easy. Oh my gosh, it's just so cute. And if I had everything ready to go when I shot my video instead of having to reach for it, this would have been even faster. So that's a pretty good. Oops, I suppose I could adhere this to my card. Now. Why not? For you guys, I will do it. Okay. So isn't this cute? Oh my gosh, I think it's just so cute. I'm not normally a pink person. I'm much more of an aqua person, but I kind of am stuck in this kind of color scheme and I just love how cute it is and I hope you do too. So anyway, if you love this card, please head to my blog and check out all the amazing um, ideas that I have on there. And and there's also photos of this, this particular project with, like I said, the dimensions and everything you need to know, especially the links to my online store because I know you're going to just have to go buy it because this is so stinking cute. And you know when you buy through the creati blah, when you buy through the creativity cave, you uh, become a creativity cave VIP and I have fabulous VIP perks, so I would love to welcome you to our VIP program. Thank you so much for watching. I always love stamping with you. I hope you have a fabulous day and happy summer. Bye.